Hi everyone, my name's Barbara. Welcome back to my Excel channel. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to show you how to sum an entire row or an entire column. I'm going to show you three ways to do it. So let's get started. So what I've got here is I have got weeks one to four as a period for sales and I've got some salespeople and I've got a total for the weeks and I've got totals for each of the individual salespeople too. So if let's take an example and let's sum the sales for week one for all of our salespeople. So the first way to sum an entire row or column would be to use the sum function, type equals sum and then select the range of cells and then hit enter and you'll get your total. For your column you can also do this for your rows sum select your range of cells and you've got your total for your columns too so a quicker way to do it perhaps is to select the cell that you want your total for so let's look at week two and then if you go to the home tab and navigate over to editing and if you hit the editing group you'll find auto sum so if you just click auto sum, Excel will automatically select the range of cells that you want to sum. It, if you see, it ignores the title of uh, or the column, the column title of week two. It just knows to do that, and you can hit enter, and it does it automatically for you. The one thing with auto sum is if you have a space in your row or your column you can't use it well you can use it but i'll show you what happens so let's just take simon's sales out and we'll use auto sum again so i select the total and hit auto sum it will only go as far as the blank cell now of course you could go back to using the manual sum function and drag your drag your range up and hit ok to get over that so the auto sum works if you don't have any blank cells and another way to do it is using a keyboard shortcut. So you can hit Alt and equals. And Excel again will select the range of cells that it intelligently thinks that you want to sum. Now the keyboard sh shortcut is Alt and equals. And that's actually the keyboard shortcut for the auto sum. Um, let's just try the sh keyboard shortcut Alt and equals. And again, Excel intelligently selects which cells it thinks you want to sum and it ignores again any titles or headers and just a hit OK. That's three ways you can sum entire rows or entire columns in Excel. You can manually use the sum function, you can use your auto sum function, go into the home tab, the editing group and auto sum or you can hit alt equals which is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. I'll leave a link to my Excel playlists. There's over 130 videos there covering pivot tables, macros, VBA, and general Excel tips. And I hope to see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.